Hello my friends and welcome back to another awesome tutorial. My name is Justin. Today we're going to be going over something really useful. Instead of using the sticks, we're going to show you how to use the D-pad for movement. It's going to be really helpful. Let's head into the programming and show you why. Here we have a person, and for the movement we're using the left stick, up and down, left and right, pretty standard. Then for the camera we're using the right stick, up and down, left and right. So if we wanted to make another person in here, we would be out of options as what to use for a two-player game. We have nothing that we can really plug into this person. In order to make the movement for this person, we're going to have to think of something else because our options are kind of limited here. Let's go ahead and go into the input and see if we can make the D-pad buttons. A, B, X, Y, L, R, Z, L, Z, R. Uh-oh. Where's the D-pad buttons? Here's a problem. Uh, I guess we'll just choose the A button and see what happens. Actually, all you have to do is go into the settings here, and you need to deselect the A button. Then we're going to select one of the D-pad buttons from this map screen here. And then all you have to do is copy it, just like this. Then we're going into the settings again, and change this one so it's down. And we can copy both of these guys as well. Now, if we just change this one to the left, and this guy over here to the right, Awesome. So we have our D-pad buttons now. Let's go ahead and hook them into this person. Forward and backward. Left and right. Let's go ahead and plug this person into the camera now. Okay, we're going to test this guy out here. So we're going to press the up on the D-pad. Alright, seems to be working. Alright, now down. Uh-oh. Okay, let's press right and left. Oh, we seem to have a problem here. This guy is not working for two of the directions. Let's see if we can fix that. In order to fix that, we're going to call upon the Calculate node on, and we're going to need two of these for each of the broken buttons here. So we got one over here and one over here. Now, we weren't able to go left, and we weren't able to go down. So those are broken. Let's go ahead and plug left into this one. And we're going to deselect down for this one and plug it into here as well. We need to call upon a constant node on now. And we're going to change this constant to negative one. Then we'll put it in here and connect this one to the forward and backward. And we'll copy this one, move it down here. And do the same thing, plug it into left and right. So when we do that, we should be better off now. Let's go forward backward, right, and left. So that's all you guys need to know about using the D-pad. I hope you make some amazing games and that you're able to play with a friend as well. Until next time, take care and God bless.